let us continue with our lesson over here and uh, today we are going to learn about the uh, building a secure app and that is on the section 4 so let's go to the uh, section 4 and here you can see that we have an option uh, we'll be covering the first topic which is of secure the uh, sensitive ui which means uh, of secure means uh, basically hiding the information and uh, if you have noticed about the uh, banking app or some security app uh, when you um, minimize the app and uh, you basically see a black screen and uh, that is like uh, it's hide the sensitive information like for your banking information it may hide your uh, account detail when when the app is in the background right so similarly the same kind of the uh, concept we want to apply in our application so let us go back to our uh, project so let me open up my uh, vs code and uh, we are here over here so first of all uh, i'll be using a river pot over here so let's go to our uh, let me go to the lib and go to the uh, core and in the core logic we'll add a provider and uh, here let's create a new file and call it as uh, let's say uh, app background uh, state dot the uh, i guess it should be state uh prov id provider dot the dot file and let's create a provider for this one and app background the bi and the G, let me be and the background uh, state provider and this will be of the uh, let's say st8 state uh, provider and uh, will be type of the uh, boolean over here and this will by default return as the uh, false because uh, by default the app is not in the background so we will be using uh, uh, as a written type as a false and state notifier is a simple uh, state provider which uh, provides a which provide uh, a provider that expose a value that can be modified from offside. So this is a simple uh, state provider from where we, from outside of the like uh, from outside of this particular class. If you want to modify later, we want to uh, when when the app is in the background, we want to update this uh, provider to the state of this particular provider to be true. And when the app is in the foreground, we just want to update it back to the false so now we have this provider what we will do is um, we will go back to our base we have already created a two base class and let's go to the base consumer uh, state and this extends already extends over here uh, already extends a consumer state so we cannot extend a two class we'll use a width and with this width i'll use a uh, uh, get binding uh, let's use a double id get widget binding observer so let me add the widget binding observer over here and with this widget binding observer i i can observe the state of the uh, particular application whether it's on the background whether it's in the foreground so i'm able to observe that one so on the init state after this let's see uh we get uh, a binding observer uh, we get binding dot the instance dot the add the observer and I will add as a this which basically means the this uh, particular object or the this class and similarly I can uh, after the uh, before the object is destroyed I want to stop listening so the like dg we get uh, we get binding right dot the instance and then let's say uh, we need to remove the observer from here so once it's to in a in a state we need to add observer and then we need to remove the observer so don't forget to remove this because that can lead to our memory a leak inside your application so what we will do is we'll do the same thing on the base state let's uh, do it with the width and uh, we get a binding uh, observer and let's add the here uh, we get a double id get we get binding sorry double id double id get we get binding right that the instance and the add the observer of which is of this 
and then we'll do the same thing before dispose uh, and like we get uh, ID, GT, we get binding and we get binding that the instance dot or uh, remove the observer from here so let's remove it and we just pass in the this over here so what once we have set up these three things one is to have a provider that who will hold the state for whether the app is in the background or in the foreground and uh, just now i actually showed you how to create a provider so i was using a provider here this is the basically coming from one of the uh, package that i plug in that i have installed so let me show you that if you haven't installed that your provider uh, flutter river pod snippet so make sure you install that one if you want to get the sort code for this particular provider right so you need to install that uh, flutter river pod snippet okay so let's do uh, let's go back to our project over here and once we have set up let's go to the uh, main widget so uh, you may uh, use it on the uh, any other page maybe you have a uh, uh, different uh, different class or different widget like the home page you can use it but what I want to do is I want to implement in the uh, material uh, material app which means that it will cover up the all of the other logic which means that whether you are in the uh, setting page home page you are in the product page uh, that's going to affect because we are uh, updating our material app if you want to be a specific to the particular page like let's say only on the home page that you want to up secure the ui then you can only use in this uh, particular uh, widget but uh, for me i want to use in the material app this will cover up any of the uh, widget that uh, inherits from the material app so uh, what we will do over here first of all is we will observe the uh, provider that we have final each uh, app in uh, let's say uh, ck grou and if the app is in the uh, background and i'll just ref dot watch and i'm i'm going to continuously watch my provider so app uh, in a background provider so this will uh continuously watch if the things are if the value change on this particular provider this is returning us the boolean so if the value on this particular provider changes then our widget will get rebuilt and that is the value whenever the value is changing so this uh, the whole material app will get rebuilt uh, rebuilding the whole of your uh, this particular material app is not a good uh, practice you need to uh, keep in mind that one when you want to rebuild it okay and not such every time certain thing change you want to go and rebuild all of your material app because if you want to rebuild this it's going to rebuild all of your uh, logic so, right so if, if you have some um, logic that takes a lot of time and then that's going to affect your performance so only rebuild when it is required so for now i just want to say that i want to cover up that logic on all of my uh, widget or the pages that i'm going to have but you may just choose to have this logic on certain page so uh, once i have this what i will do is i will on the home what i will do is if the app is in the background uh, then what i'm going to do is i'm going to load a different ui so i will just go and call from here let's call it as a or color box and i'll just pass in the colors uh, dot the black and if it is not in the background then just go and load the home page for us so that is the logic and uh, what we have to do now is we um, need to override the function uh, did, uh, did change dependency no it's not i guess we have not um, let's go on to the top over here and here uh, we are using a consumer state which is coming from the flutter river pod but we need to extend it from the base consumer state so base class base consumer state which we have created over here so this is a base consumer we need to extend from that and once uh, that class has already been uh, using the widget binding observer then we should be able to call that particular function 
over here so i'll just use a did change the app lifecycle state so this will give us access to the uh, application lifecycle and now what we can do is i will use a switch case over here sorry i'll just use a let me just use a switch case over here and i'll just provide the state over here now what we will do is we'll use a app lifecycle state and we have few options i'll be using inactive which means that when the app goes to the background that means the app is inactive so i'll use the inactive and when the inactive when the app is inactive then what i will do is i will update my state so which is the ref that i want to read my provider that i have so app background state provider and i have to use a notifier dot and then i get access to the state then I will update this state to the true so which means now our app is on the background and similarly I will use the another uh, use case that is of the if the app is on the foreground or I'll use uh, if the app is on the resume state so if the app is resume which means that now the user is able to uh, view the application which means that user can interact with the application and then we will just set it to false we'll just update this uh, provider value to the false that both of them will trigger the on uh, the this particular watch and this is going to rebuild this particular logic over here so i guess that's that is the concept that we are actually implementing so for this one i need to run on the uh, real device and uh, i need to run on the uh, release mode it doesn't work well on the uh, debug version and also on the uh, illuminator or the uh, virtual device uh, if you want to test it properly you should always test it on the uh, real device so i'll be connecting my application with the uh, real device i have one android device connected so i will update it with this particular so let me run it and I guess uh, what we need still over here is we are missing one concept which is to update our Memphis file so we need to add the permission so currently in the debug version we have the permission to access the internet but in the uh, in the um, the release version of our application which use the main uh, we uh, main the Android Memphis we don't have permission so let me add the permission on the top over here to use this particular uh, internet connection so once we have this uh, i guess that should be fine and let us try to uh, we change some code in the native side so it is best to rebuild our application so let us uh, rebuild our application okay so the application is running on my real device and i'm uh, connected to my uh, real device using the uh, android cast and uh, what we'll do is once we uh, minimize our application let's try to uh, minimize our application and let us try to open up another uh, project you can see that now the ui is up, up secure which means that we can see a black screen over there and let me switch to the another application and let me open up my application again so which means that when we actually minimize our application it's going to up secure the ui for us and that's great right that that is what we are trying to implement and uh, you can see that as soon as we try to switch our app we try to get a black screen on our um, the project that we are currently working so this is perfectly fine and what we are expecting so make sure you test it on the real device and uh, that's it so let's meet up in the next lecture and hope you enjoyed it let's meet on the next one till then have a great day